So I wanted to figure out a way of using the CNC machine to draw. So using a regular big pen or a pencil or something like that. So I came up with the idea of taking a, a half inch by four inch PVC riser and then getting a couple threaded caps for each end. I uh, decided, okay, I'll drill a 5 16 inch hole in this end so that a regular big pen will slide through freely. And then it'll spring up and down because I need that little springy action. So how did I do the spring? So let's take the pen out, open this up. First of all, before we get to this up, there's the spring. I'll show you how I made that in a second. This is a quarter 20 bolt with a nut that's just threaded through. Drill the quarter inch hole in the end, pretty much in the center. Um, you're gonna set your X, Y axis anyway, so dead center is not super critical. So that's the cap. The thread's on here. This is an earplug. I found out, look over here now, if you have a regular earplug like this one here and you squish it, it stays squished. Uh, this earplug, when you squish it, it springs right back. So the secret is simply taking this earplug and washing it with uh, Dawn detergent and water. So soap and water, it doesn't have to be Dawn, it can probably be any kind of detergent. Or maybe just plain water, I don't know, I didn't try just water. Soap and water, washing this guy turned that one into this one. So now this acts like a spring. Not a super strong spring, but I don't really need a super strong spring. So then I take this and it goes in here. This goes on the end. And then my pen stays centered. I'm not exactly sure why, but that hole was drilled so that it, the pin just slides up and down. So side to side, it doesn't move. It stays, it stays very secure. I'm trying to push it back and forth and it's not moving. So that's good. And yet there's still some spring action to it. So now let's go over to the CNC machine. So this then will just get mounted because that's a quarter inch collet that's mounted in there. And I'll just secure that so that it's snug, it can't fall out. I've taken a bit of orange tape and put it on the spindle there because I don't want this to turn. I mean, it can turn, but if I tape it down so that it doesn't turn, that just makes it more secure because the pen should stay so that it doesn't spin. And now it's, it's not really spinning. So everything is secure except for the Z-axis, which has a little spring to it. I just get a little bit of compression and then a little more compression and start drawing. I'm doing this by hand, but you could obviously, you know, run your computer CNC program and draw whatever you wanted. So that's just one kind of a neat thing you can do. You could mount a, a pencil in there if you wanted to. So you could do pencil drawings, you could do pen drawings. If you wanted to make a bigger hole in the end, you could put in a, a Sharpie and have that as well. So, so if you like this, uh, great. You can subscribe if you wish. Uh, I will post videos occasionally as I get inspired to make something for you. So let's see if we can do an outline of a, a small guitar here, if it works with my drawing system. Okay, move my paper. And what happens? Does it work or does it not work? So if I want to do a little experimenting with some research and development work, uh, I don't want to use a, a router bit. I just want to work things out on paper first. This is the way to do it.